Thank you very much. We are reaching you live from the capital of Zamfara State, Gusau. Well, it is no longer news that Zamfara State House of Assembly recently passed into law the Zamfara State Security Trust Fund, and the law has been assented to by Governor Dauda Lowell. The law is primarily aimed at addressing the issue of funding, which is widely believed to be one of the impediments to the success of the ongoing effort towards addressing the security challenges bedeviling Zamfara State. Now, the pertinent question is, how do people of Zamfara State, especially the critical stakeholders, react to this development? This is a welcome development, and it has been something that is long overdue for it to happen in Zamfara State. So I give kudos to the Zamfara State government, the present administration and the members of the legislature for initiating the move and for the governor accenting to it. It, makes things, it is going to make things very, very easy in the administration of justice in Zamfara State and security management. How? Yes, good. You see, we used to have challenges when it comes to funding and the role being played by the state government in the... Uh, enhancement of security in the state. With the law which establishes the fund, the state government is to generate funds, keep it in a trust under a board, under the care of a board, under the management of a board. And with that, this, the state government now has no business with challenges of funding like provision of uh, vehicles, security gadgets, and uh, improving the welfare of the security personnel. We are in support of the trust fund because we felt that it's an innovation and a strategy towards uh, gathering uh, lots of resources and funds to help the security effort of the state government, which uh, is a good development. Even though it's not uh, the first time or first of its kind in the nation. Uh, some states, actually like uh, Borno, uh, is already operating uh, along that line. But um, we have so many concerns which we express during the public hearing, and we pray that those concerns have been taken care of. Section 4 of that law established that trust fund and uh, Section 5 as well, uh, you know, uh, provided for the establishment of uh, the board under the trust fund. So uh, basically, uh, the primary essence of uh, that law is to support government towards providing security for the people. It is geared towards supporting security agencies with uh, logistics, equipment, and any other support that uh, they may require uh, in the course of discharging their primary uh, responsibilities. Well, the respondents are unanimous in their view that this development is a welcome one. And the security trust fund is not only timely, but also very useful to the problem at hand. But the main concern is how will the fund be managed, especially when it comes to the issue of accountability and transparency? The organization is supposed to be a trust, which um, is not an extension of government and uh, is supposed to be uh, held in trust by selected trusted individuals. So we are concerned about the appointment into the uh, trust fund because it has to gain the trust of the public, first of all. Because it's not only going to be government funds, it's going to be a lot of funds coming from the private sector the community, the NGOs, and other sources. Well, it is the general belief of all the respondents that the Security Trust Fund will go a long way in addressing the issue of funding, which has been widely identified as major impediment to the concerted efforts towards addressing the protracted security challenges bedeviling Zamfara State. 
And it is important to note that the fear of some of the respondents that the money to be generated by the Security Terrorist Fund could be mismanaged has been allayed by Governor Doda Lowell shortly after he signed the bill into law, saying all the provisions of the law will be implemented to the letter. That is all we have for you from this end. Back to the studio.